Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is an Open TX video and in this video I'm going to show you global variables and flight modes. Now the examples that I'm going to give you are going to be mixing elevator with your flaps. Now we can use global variables. Now global variables allow you to set up a variable, a figure, and then use that figure in anywhere on your radio you want to. And then if you decide to change that, you can quickly do it at the field by just going in and changing that global variable value. So in other words, you could say your flaps are at 50%, you want to change it to 70. So you'll go into that global variable and just change it from 50 to 70. So we're going to have a look at uh, companion and then I'll go through, you can see the settings. It is far easier to set this up in companion than it is on your radio, but it's not impossible to set it up on your radio. So let's switch over to companion and we'll go through the settings. There are two ways to set up global variables. So what I've done, I've set up two models and I will show you the different uh, ways of doing this. The first one is going to be, it says global, just global variable. Now what this means is that you put a figure in on the first flight mode and it will be copied across all the modes. So if we go to companion and we go into flight modes and you can see what I've done here, I've set up armed, disarmed, takeoff, landing. And you can see in, the, in this way of setting up global variables, you can see I put uh, FT, FL, FTE and FLE. That, this is for takeoff, flaps takeoff, 50%, flaps landing, 70%, and then mixing in some elevator, 20 and then 40. So if we go to disarmed, now in here I've said copy flight mode zeros value. So it goes there and it looks at this value and it copies it across. Now that will be the same for all of these in this method. Now if we go across the flight mode, you'll see it's exactly the same. Now if we simulate the radio, let's have a look at what's happening. So we simulate. Disarm motors, flaps take off. Okay, we hit the model button and then we hit it again. Now, let me just reset everything. Now let me simulate what's happening. The switch in the forward position is going to be normal flight mode. So you can see we've got our ailerons are working, but we've got no flaps at all. If we go to the mid position, that is for takeoff. Flaps take off. And you can see here it's mixed in 20% elevator, down elevator, and then the flaps have gone to 50%. Now, if we now go to the landing, you can see we've now got more flap and we've got now more, more mixing. Now, this isn't necessarily what the figures should be. I've just put these in as test figures so that I can show you how this works. And if we go back, if we go back to the global variables, in here, you'll notice if I go to I'll, let's go to our takeoff one. You can see there's no fade in or fade out. Now I want to show you the fade in and fade out on the exact second example that I'm going to give you. So let's come out of this model. We're going to go into the global variables which are flight mode specific. So if I double click this. Now in here, if we go to flight modes, you'll see that we have now only got two settings. And that is one for the flaps and one for the mixing of the elevator. Now in the arm position, we've got zero value. If we go to disarmed, we've got zero value, of course. If we go to takeoff, you can see now I've selected value source and not saying flight mode zero, I've actually said a value. So you change it to value and then you put the value you want it to be in that flight mode. Then if we go to landing, you can see there's the higher values. So the first option I gave you, you just put the figures, you have to put four global variables in so that you can operate it the way I showed you. And this one, we just need to put two in. Now, if we look at the top, you can see the fade in there. I've put it uh, two seconds and I've done that for both the takeoff and the landing. At the end of this video, I'll do a demonstration of this with my test rig so you can see what's happening. And this is really cool because it's just like a real aeroplane. The, the uh, flaps go down in a very slow way. They just slowly drop. They don't just drop down and it's actually very cool. 
So let's simulate this. And we can see this in, demonstrated on the radio. So if we hit our model button, hold it down, hit again. Now let me just reset this. If you watch the screen, if we go to our flaps in takeoff position, you see they're not operating. In the way this is set up, you need to be armed to be able to do this. Now I've tried to uh, play around with the the way the flight modes work, but I could not get it to show this working when you're not armed. So what would happen? You go to arm and you'll see now on the screen how the channels move. So we, we're now in normal flight. We go to and there we go. That is so cool. And then we go to landing and they will carry on. If we were in normal flight, so I'm going to put this back to normal flight. And that's, you see it slowly going back. So if we were in normal flight, we'd go straight to the landing mode. So, and you'll see, there we go. And then as soon as you landed, so there is a disadvantage with this that you can't see this happening when you are not armed. But I don't think it's a problem because you, you want the flaps to actually work when the, the, the plane is actually moving. Anyway, so, and it would look cool as you're, as you're taxiing out to the runway and then you flick the switch and then the elevator slowly drops. So I think it is actually cool. But this shows you the different ways of setting up global variables. But you can see, if we want to change a global variable, we can quickly, let's do it. So we're gonna close that window. So we want to now say, we want the takeoff to be, say 60. So we put in 60 and then we're done. If we go to the inputs, they will be standard. If we go to mixes, you can see what I've needed to put in to get this to work. So wherever you want to use a global variable, let's go into this uh, flap here. You'll see, we put the weight in. We don't put a weight in, we select which global variable we want to use. So whenever that is changed back in the flight modes, it will automatically be changed here. So you can see, the two flap settings, and you can see which uh, global variable that it's, it's selecting. And then obviously there are two servos set up for flaps on this, and you can see this one now is picking up GV1, and this one is picking up GV2. And you can also note that of course you can now select a minus, a minus GV, and you can see this is minus GV1. If we double click that and bring it up, now this would be so that you can correct the orientation of the flaps within your wings so that they are moving in the correct position. You will see here we've got the same global variable for both takeoff and landing. Now the reason for this is because that global variable, it is the same global variable, but when we're in a different mode, it will be picking up the rate that we selected for that mode. So th this is where this is such a, a cool feature. And I'm sure it can be done in a lot far more complicated way than this, but I just wanted to give you some idea of how this relates the global variables and the flight modes. Now let's take a look at my rig. What I've done, I've made this, normally this is for just doing demonstrations of flaps and ailerons, but I've made this one into elevator for the demonstration purposes. Now in normal flight mode, my switch would be forward. And when I pull the switch to the mid position, it will go to takeoff. And you'll see because of the fade in and fade out, the flaps won't just drop, nor will the elevator just drop. But let's test it. Flaps take off. And you see they slowly go down. So we're flying, and we, would, we, we would be in the normal flight mode. Now if we quickly go through, you can see it goes to flaps landing. Flaps take off. So you would need to flip the switch quickly. So as you're going, let's demonstrate that again. So as you're going to, Take off. Take There's the takeoff position. And then you'll be, once you, you're flying, you would then turn those off. And then when you want to come into land, you'll flick the switch right back. And they won't just suddenly drop, they slowly drop, which I think is quite a cool feature. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. And please consider becoming a patron of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye.